You can apply Thomas splints to any fracture affecting the shaft of the femur, from trochanters down to the epicondyle. To apply Thomas splint, you'll need the following. An adult or paediatric Thomas splint with an appropriate sized hoop, measuring tape, sling set, hoop pad, a couple of rolls of padding, adult or paediatric skin traction, a couple of bandages, as well as scissors, tape and a couple of tongue depressors. Remember, fractured femurs hurt. During the rest of the video, you'll see just how much the broken leg is moved, so analgesia is vital. Opiates and entonox will usually suffice. However, femoral nerve blocks can be useful, but remember, the sciatic nerve also innervates the femur, so the effect will be variable and tends to reduce the further down the femur the fracture is. It's important to set the Thomas splint to the right length. First, measure the patient's inside leg on the unaffected side, then add on 30 centimetres or 12 inches. Adjust the Thomas splint to the determined length, also adjusting the hoop to the desired angle. To adjust the length, just press down on the buttons, moving the frame in or out to the desired length. Then, place the Velcro straps on the Thomas splint, ensuring that the lowest is 40 centimetres or 16 inches from the bottom, so that the foot can be left free. And remember to fit the hoop pad. Then, cover the slings in padding, creating a small pad for behind the knee. At this point, you'll need to elevate the broken leg to place the Thomas splint, remembering to check that the splint is not compressing their genitals. Someone will need to hold the leg in gentle traction while the skin traction is applied. If this is too long, it can be cut down to size. The skin traction is then bandaged to the leg from ankle to upper thigh. At this point, you can lower the leg gently onto the splint and secure the hoop with the strap. We recommend the following method to tension the Thomas splint. Take the strings to the side of the frame, passing one over and one under securing tightly with a reef knot in the centre. Run the strings down to the base, passing one over and one under, then over the knot and back down to the base. Those strings are then pulled tight and tied off. Finally, take two tongue depressors together and pass through the strings. Twist them until you achieve the desired level of tension. They will then lock against the side of the frame. Remember to check the pulses and sensation in the foot and document this in the patient's notes. Now the splint's been applied, the leg and splint can be banded together, remembering to elevate the leg with blankets or a pillow to prevent the patient developing pressure sores over the heel. Further information about applying Thomas splints can be found on embeds.co.uk.